Welcome to the New Hampshire Food Bank. Thank you for taking the time to volunteer with us today. Here at the Food Bank, our mission is to feed hungry people by soliciting and effectively distributing grocery products, perishable foods, and services through a statewide network of approved agencies, by advocating for systemic change, and by educating the public about the nature of and solutions to hunger in New Hampshire. Fresh Rescue, or meat sorting volunteers, play a vital role in helping the food bank fulfill its goal of making nutritious products available to those in need across the state. In 2011 alone, volunteers processed nearly 900,000 pounds of frozen goods that helped to supply over 400 agencies throughout New Hampshire with quality protein items. Fresh Rescue, or frozen meat products, arrive at the food bank completely unsorted. To make shopping easier for our agencies, all of the products need to be categorized and separated. The products are broken down into seven categories. Beef, pork, whole birds, assorted, odd stuff, hot dogs, and poultry. Now, let's take a closer look at what products compose each of these categories. Beef. Products that would be placed in this category include beef, veal, bison, buffalo, venison, or lamb. Basically, anything with a fur coat belongs here. Pork. This category would include products like pork chops, pork tenderloin, ham, bacon, and sausage patties. A sorting rule is that anything with a snout belongs here. Whole birds. Items in this category are exactly as the title indicates, whole birds, which could be either chickens, turkeys, ducks, or other types of fowl. Assorted. This category is made up of products that don't necessarily fit into the other categories, or products that already have a destiny. That could include things like pot pies, lunch meat, marinated meats, ready-to-cook meals, seafood, and vegetables. But one thing that we never keep is any mayonnaise-based products. Odd Stuff this is where we place all the products that wouldn't typically be seen in the display cases at your grocery store. That could include liver, stomachs, tongues, and feet. Hot dogs. As the title indicates, the main product in this category is hot dogs, but it also includes sausages, salami, and anything else in link form. Poultry. Anything with feathers belongs in this category, be it chicken, turkey, duck, or pheasant. But unlike the whole bird section, everything here is in smaller pieces, like wings, drumsticks, thighs, breasts, or ground meat. Each category of product is placed in its own box, which is labeled with a sticker in the upper right-hand corner. The sticker indicates the category of products and also shows the range of how many pounds each box should weigh. When a box appears to be reaching its designated weight, a volunteer will lift it onto a scale to be sure that it meets the weight requirements. Boxes that are within the weight range are then moved to their designated pallet, which will be filled with all of the same sorted products and, when full, placed back in the freezer. While sorting the products into the individual categories, volunteers also must remove unsuitable products from the distributable goods. <music> Items that must be discarded include anything with damaged packaging, any exposed product, excessively loose packaging, air-filled packages, or anything with discoloration. If a product's exterior package is torn, but there's still an interior seal, it's okay to distribute. But also keep in mind that if a product is mainly good with slight discoloration, it still needs to be thrown out. 
A standard rule to sort by is when in doubt, throw it out. When volunteering at the New Hampshire Food Bank, it is important to remember that you are in a working warehouse. This means that forklifts and power pallet jacks are in use and deserve the right of way. Volunteers should always pay attention to the activity going on around them to avoid any serious injuries. So, to wrap up this training, remember that there are seven categories of product. Beef, pork, whole birds, assorted, odd stuff, hot dogs, and poultry. When sorting, be sure that each box weighs within the ranges that are shown on the individual stickers. Also, remember, when in doubt, throw it out. If you would not purchase the product, discard it. We do not want to distribute any food that has the potential to cause illness to any of our clients. And finally, remember that volunteers like yourself make me available to the more than 400 agencies that the food bank serves. We would not be able to meet the demand of the hungry across the state without your help. Thank you for volunteering.